name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing the second look, but you're only seeing it for the first time, on my Deck of Scarlet palette. This is a number three. So in this palette is a lot of pinks and peach, and pinks scare the hell out of me. So um, I was a little nervous, but I've been playing with pinks recently, and so I'm getting a little more comfortable, but pinks just aren't my jam. However, in this palette, we've got the color Majesty, which I have on my lips. So in the palette, I wasn't really sure about that as a color, but the, once I got it on my lips, I was like, ooh, I like this. This is another reason why having subscriptions are a great thing, no matter what subscription it is, because they will send you things that you first look at and go, okay, that's not me. You put it on and you're like, oh, okay. I'm being pushed outside my comfort zone. I kind of like this. So anyways, that's how I felt about Majesty. I do like how it goes on. Um, it's a really pretty color. Again, I wouldn't have purchased it for myself, but I can see myself digging into that a lot more. Now let's talk about this side. This side is fun. So when I looked at this palette, I really liked it on the surface. I thought it was very pretty, but again, there's a lot of pinks and that scared the heck out of me. And I thought, all right, well, we'll try this with peaches because I don't know that I've ever really mixed pinks and peaches before, and I like the combination. So I think for me, because I tend to go with the peach side of the world, having that ground the pink for me was really great. So we have Baby Doll that I have on my cheek and a bit on the eyelid. We have some Yasmin for the highlighter. And as you can see, the highlighter is great for daytime. You can do this highlighter or this palette for work. In fact, I'm getting ready to go to work. And this is the eye look that I've, or the face look that I've created to go to work. So this um, highlighter is really nice. It's not blinding. It's just subtle and pretty. And you can wear it to work. So then we have the Show Cute. For some reason, these two colors, more the Show Cute than the Feeling Peachy, really has a ton of fallout. And you can kind of see it in the pan. You barely put your brush in there and it just looks like you've used the pans forever and ever, amen. That's not the case. I've used it a couple times, but I wouldn't think that these pans would look like that in that short a period of time. Because I use Taj, and Taj just must be a different blend because, as you can see, this one, I've used the same amount as these two, and they look completely different in the pan. Or maybe you can't see that in the camera, but I can see it in person. So I'm not sure what the difference is in the formulas. Um, they do, these two have a ton of fallout, so you've got to, you know, tap your brush, blow on your brush, do whatever to bring that down because if you've got really sensitive eyes like I do and fallout gets in your eyes um, and then you have the Niagara Falls, it's kind of pretty crazy. So love these colors though. They blend, actually everything blended well together considering I used a cheek with the eyeshadows and kind of, you know, blended them out. All of them blend really well. I like the pigmentation, they're fun. Underneath my eye, I used a bit of the Baby Doll, a little bit of the Show Cute towards the inner corner, and then some Just Peachy towards the outside. So this creates a, a nice kind of everyday look that you can wear to the office. Now, the Taj is really light, and because I have light skin, I like to go a little bit heavier or darker on my eyes because I just do. That's all I have to say, I just do. I think for me it balances the really light skin, so I do like more of a dramatic eye. So I did pick up some Onyx um, from Tarte and kind of put that in the outer V just to darken up the Taj a little bit more because Taj for me was just too light and I do like a much darker eye. So with that being said, you're gonna get ready to see how I use these colors to create this look, um, their blendability, and if you haven't subscribed to the Deck of Scarlet, you may want to look into it. It's $29.99 maybe every other month and you get this full palette. I do like the subscription because um, you guys have heard me say, maybe in some of my other videos, how a, a package is to make it traveling is great. What I like about this is you've got basically your full face in a small to-go palette 
And so if you are going to work and maybe you need to touch up during the day, this makes it easy because you've got your lips, your highlighter, your eyeshadows, boom, all in one palette. The other thing is if you're going out straight from work, most people's makeup don't, does not look fantastic from the time they go to work to the time they end work. So this just makes it nice and easy because of the size, it's sleek, and it does have a mirror to be able to, you know, throw this in your purse, your book pack, your backpack, book pack, whatever pack, and just really still be on the go. So I do have to say Decca Scarlet for that reason is kind of killer. So I was traveling last week and I'm going down the rabbit trail, but anyone that knows me knows I have a habit of going down rabbit trails. It's just what I do. And I thought I had unpacked it. But anyways, um, I took one of the other palettes that I got from Decca Scarlet with me while I was traveling and I just absolutely loved it because again everything was just right there. It made my travel bag a lot lighter. I knew I could create a couple different looks with it and it just was fantastic. So again if you haven't tried Decca Scarlet you may want to. It'll push you outside your comfort zone which is fun and you do have something that makes it easy to throw your whole face in this little bitty palette in your purse, backpack, etc. So with that being said, I will stop going down rabbit trails and poof, here we, we go. start with the lip color called Tootsie from ColourPop. I'm gonna use my new little lip brush from the July Morphe subscription and the color Majesty. We're gonna use the color, we're gonna use the color Baby Doll for the cheeks. Which as bright as it is in the pan, it's going on really nice on the cheeks. So pretty. We're gonna take this highlighter called Yasmin. Let's pop that on the cheekbone. I really love this palette from Decca Scarlet because it has peaches and pinks and I'm not really a pink person, but lately I've been having fun with them. I'm not sure what's wrong with me. I've done a couple videos with pinks. I'm like, who are you? Who took over your body? Where is Amy? Okay, so we are going to go in with feeling pitchy. And basically having that on the transition coat, as of my transition color. And this feeling peachy color is really pretty. It looks darker in the pan, or maybe it's the same color, I don't know, when you put it on, but it just is a really nice peach color. We're gonna go in with show cute, show cute. I feel like you have to say it twice like that. Show cute, show cute. That's our inner color. gonna pick back up this baby doll and use that all over the eye. Let me mix it in with a little show cute. I actually filmed this tutorial once and I don't know I guess I forgot the end so it was I get to redo it and it looks like I forgot that there's fallout so now so do be careful, this show cute does have a lot of fallout if you can ooh, see. Now we're gonna get another brush and use some Taj. I'm gonna pick up some more baby doll and just kind of soften that line there on top of Taj. really not sure why that pink Yasmin or show cute has so much fallout compared to the other bits of the palette you do have to be careful because if you've got sensitive eyes like I do it'll get all in there and then you'll start crying and have a hot mess and that part's not fun as we know I'm gonna take baby doll and go a little bit from the inner corner and then I'm gonna take some feeling pitchy I like a darker outer V. I'm going to take Tarte and the color Onyx. Kind of 
of feel like I'm channeling my inner Barbie today that I didn't know I had. <laughs> For some ultra liner, this one is waterproof and it's in black by Maybelline. Pop on a little bit of mascara. Time for just thickening up the eyelashes with a little false eyelash. And let those sit a minute. While those are sitting, I'm going to take a little bit of this Solstice from the Tarte palette and go right up underneath the brow bone. I'm going to go back in with this palette here and pick up the Feeling Peachy just a little bit more. Go right above that black because when I blended it out I noticed I kind of blended off that peach. So the great part when you blend is if you blend off, you can always add back in. Sometimes it's harder to blend down than it is to add. And I think that's what happened with this eye over here that was driving me nuts with the black is I kept blending and to blend it down and I just rubbed the peach right off. Okay, then I'm going to go with a water resistant scuba from Scuba from the Balm. Looks like I got a wee bit of fallout from the black. Okay, so hopefully the false eyelashes have dried in place. We're gonna just put a little bit of a second coat of mascara on to fuse mine with the falsies. That way it gives a kind of a nice hold throughout the day. And basically this look is done. So I'm going to go finish up my hair as always and then give you kind of my end of video review. I know you're excited. Or maybe it'll be the pre-video review. You'll already know if it's pre-video though if you get to this spot and it's already done. See you soon. Thank you so much for watching my channel today and my look review using the deck of Scarlet. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please leave your comments below or your thumbs up or subscribe or refer me to a friend. I don't know, maybe all of them. And as always, I hope you make it a great day. Until next time.